Before this video starts, I wanted to give a huge thank you to all my channel members, and especially to Clara for becoming a star member. I really appreciate everyone who joins, and if you're interested in becoming a member on my channel, be sure to check out the link in the description. Let's get into the video. Hey everyone, my name is Lavstar, welcome back to my Fairy Core Let's Play. Okay, check this out. <laughs> Look, I have little cute earmuffs on. <laughs> Um, unfortunately you can't see them with my helmet on, but we do have to keep our helmet on because we have to stay geared and protected, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. This is from the, um, um, Essential mod. I just got it for free. Anyway, um, so I hope you guys are having a great day. Are you ready to play some Fairy Core? Because I am. I'm very excited as I always am. <laughs> um, so... I- oh yeah, another thing I wanted to show you guys <laughs> every single day is just like, oh, check this out, check this out, guys. Okay, so I switched out a texture pack and I changed the weapons to just these um, flowering weapons, which is from- I think this texture pack is called Evie's Overgrown Floral Tools. Um, I'll make sure to link it in the description. If I forget, just leave a comment and I'll fix it. Anyway, yeah, I really like these, um, this texture pack because, I mean, they're, they're just perfect for fairy cord. They're literally flower tools, but anyway. Um, so, we have quite a lot to do today. I have a little list of what I want to get done, but I wanted to let you guys know that, if you're not aware already, I opened, I launched my YouTube memberships. So if you want to check that out and support my channel and also obviously get some cool perks, be sure to check out the description. Um... Anyway, I won't let you guys uh, get bored too long. Um, I was supposed to build a bubble elevator in here, but I completely forgot. Um, I just want to do that off camera because it's going to be quite tedious. So yeah, we are still in the Twilight Forest and I actually want to go to the overworld for a second because I want to fix some stuff inside of our, um, what's it called? The, the tower. But let's take everyone back because we don't want to leave all of our friends here. So where is Melody's thing? Where's her soul spell? Oh, it's right here. Why is that in there? That should not be in there. Okay, anyway. Oh, look, we actually have a few more decorations in here that I completely forgot to place. Um, we have some herb jars and this witch hat amulet. Wait, this contains a witch's hat? Now, hold on a minute. Hold on. What do you mean? How do I... To remove the imprinted item placed in a crafting grid and take out the imprinted item? <gasps> what? I want a witch's hat. Oh my gosh. <gasps> what? That's so cool. A crow blank amulet trinket. Ooh, interesting. Can I put this on? Oh my god. That is so cute. <laughs> that is actually really awesome. And now... You can actually see my earmuffs, which is, um, it looks a little weird, but anyway, that is really cool. I'll have, it, I'll have to wear that when we actually, um, are doing witchcraft. Uh, but let me place down this pestle and mortar with our very limited counter space. Uh, I should maybe put something here. Do I have any more, like, countertops? No, but I'll just use this. I'll use a twilight oak log. We'll put it there. Let's put the pestle in order. Cool. So I um I was actually learning a little bit about the um, Hexaray mod. Um, one of you guys left a comment that told me um, that the mod is not very complete just yet. So it's still very early stages in development. Oh, that's so cool. I wonder if we can light this with flint and steel. I don't think I have any though. So we'll have to do that later. But anyway. So one of you guys let me know that the mod is still pretty early stages in development and a lot of the features are still not added, um, which is fine because I did watch a tutorial on like how the mod works and like kind of like an overview and I actually was very excited and also pleasantly surprised. Like yeah, there's not that much stuff to do, but I think it's actually going to be really fun. There's some fun utilities so we can, you know, mess around with and I can't wait to show you guys. It's going to be actually kind of... Um, pretty awesome. So, yeah, we're definitely gonna get into the Hexary mod. I still don't know what's going on with which mobility. Um, wait, let me put Melody away. And I'm gonna take Dorito with me. She's just gonna, she's just gonna follow me down. I think that's everyone that's here, right? I don't, I don't think anyone else is here. Okay, let's go all the way down. Dorito, be careful. Okay, I'm just gonna jump and she should teleport. 
Where are you? There you are. Oh my god, you are so cute. You are so cute. I love you. Okay, I think I'm gonna put her in station carpet because I don't want her to lose her name. But yeah, anyway, um, I'm really excited to mess around with the Hexray mod and I'll, I'll show you guys what we can do. It's gonna be pretty awesome. So uh, let me make sure that Dorito goes in first so she gets uh, teleported. Get in there. There you go. Okay, cool. <sighs> All right, we are back. Where's Spook? Spook, are you here? Oh, she's right here. Hi, Spook, you're hiding in there. All right, back in the overworld. Did you guys miss me? Probably not. Anyway, <laughs> um, so do I have any glowberries on me? Oh, yeah, I do. So let me go to our tower really quick. We're going to make some more bookshelves because I still want to get working on the library. And um, I love this little wardrobe. It looks so cool. It's like a really awesome bookshelf and I love the little like chain stuff here. I don't know what material it is, but I really got to fix the staircase. <laughs> Maybe I can do that. I, yeah, there's still that chicken in there. So anyway, I wanted to place some glowberries here because we actually finally have some on us and I've been wanting to decorate this like roof for so long but I totally failed because I thought that I could actually just bone meal it and it would grow stuff but no that's obviously not how it works I'm an idiot so we're just gonna let some glowberries grow in here Let's see if I can go to pyre nya, nya, nya. play some glowberries woo all right cool this is gonna look really nice once it's all starting to grow and I'll bone meal a few of them so we can get some more light. But yeah, this is gonna be really cool and um, I'm excited. So in this case, I think our, our enchanting room, I mean, it's pretty much done. Like, I don't really need to add much else. Uh, maybe some vines. I don't think I have any though. Do I have vines? Of course not. <laughs> Why would I? Maybe I can place a lantern? We can place a lantern instead of a torch, at least. Be a little bit more fancy. A little bit more fancy. Okay, so let's see. Do I have any wood that isn't like twilight wood? No. Mm, but I do have canopy and we have canopy on the floor, right? So what if I use the canopy to make a little bit of like a fence? So, um, I don't, oh God, I, I honestly hate working with spiral staircases. They're pretty, um, pretty difficult to uh get right so i'm gonna try to keep this like a one block wide sort of thing it's it's obviously very tight like this i, I usually try to make st uh, staircases at least two blocks wide um but just for the sake of saving space and not making this too complicated i'm gonna just make it one and let's just make sure that we don't got any holes because that's kind of our biggest issue oh my gosh dorito be careful don't fall and uh let me put one here oh she almost fell and right there, cool. Oh, little mushroom. Ah, so cute. And I'll put a window. Let me let me put some windows because it's really dark. And yeah, we could definitely use a little bit more light in this place. So we're gonna need to get some. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna use. Ah, uh, god damn it! My inventory's full. Let me throw this away. We have oak and we have canopy. Wait, I'm gonna use the oak because we actually only need three. And we're just gonna put some oak fences in there, make it look a little bit, you know, rustic. And it definitely needs some lanterns. This place is dark. It's so dark. Okay. Cool. I like that. Okay. And lastly, we need to probably put some fences. And I think what we can do is use some canopy fences. So we need a crafting table. Do I have one? No. Okay. Um, I'll make one. And we can put it here, just a little crafting table, and let's make some canopy fences. So anyway, I have quite a story for you guys, but um, I, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't want to get super distracted telling it just yet. Oh crap. See, this is what I mean. I need, I need like a second to kind of finish this really quick. And then I will let you guys know what's been going on because, oh my god, it's, it's quite, it's quite intense. Um, it's quite intense. It's quite a thriller, a story, a very scary story. <laughs> um, I really like how Dorito's growing mushrooms in here. That's so cute. Can you grow like one right there? That would be awesome. Can you just sit there? Okay, so guys, what do you think? I know this looks really weird and kind of crap but 
I I think that's kind of the vibe, you know? That's kind of the vibe, just kind of like crap core, you know? Like, it's a new aesthetic, and, uh, <laughs> just kidding. Where's my- okay, let me place this lantern. Give it to me! We'll put it- we'll put it, um, maybe there. And now it's kind of dark. We, we probably should just make some more lanterns. We do have some iron nuggets, so I'm just gonna make three. And let's replace these torches, because I don't like that. No more torches! Torch is bad. Torch is evil. Let me put this stuff away. I don't know why I'm always so goddamn disorganized. There we go. Okay, this place is looking- <gasps> Yay, thank you! She actually did it. Okay, this place is looking a lot nicer. I like it a lot. So let's go get some bookshelves. Um, I want to make some more bookshelves and get the library, you know, just a little bit more um, finished. All right, so while we're getting our bookshelves, let me tell you guys what happened earlier this week. Actually, I think it was last week. Oh, <sighs> okay. So, I... <laughs> Where do I even start? So, there was a bit of a catastrophe last week, and um, it all started one night when I was re-downloading a game. I was re-downloading a game that I really wanted to play again. Uh, if you're interested, the game is Blade and Soul. <laughs> um, and I I was like clearing out a little bit of space while I was doing this because I was like, okay, I'm gonna install like 50 gigs worth of stuff on my computer. I might as well just like clear out some un 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 unused space. And I was like, okay, I'll get rid of this old backup file that I exported from my old laptop so I can use that space for something else. And so I delete this folder that I was like, okay, I'm not even using it. It's completely fine. And I didn't realize until the next day that this folder actually contained um, all of my Minecraft worlds. And I use MultiMC to run all my Minecraft worlds because I have to switch between like uh, Fairy Core, Mermaid World, and my like survival one that I play by myself. So I use MultiMC. And all the worlds and all the data for the mods and everything like that is saved in a folder called instances. And I was under the assumption that my multi-MC folder with all my data was stored on my main hard disk. And I I deleted this folder from my my external drive. So I was like, okay, no big deal. And then the next day I try to load up my fairy core world and I I realized that all of my worlds are gone. Like, I was, like, I felt my heart drop and I was terrified. I started to frantically search through um, all of my files and I was trying to restore my garbage bin and trying to see if it was in the recycling bin, you know, like, okay, maybe I accidentally deleted it. Because at this point, I didn't know what happened, like, I didn't know what I did to trigger this because I was still under the assumption that my worlds were untouched because it was on my hard disk and not my external drive, right? <laughs> so I was messing around with all the files, I was trying to figure out what to do, and so then I, I asked um, someone for help, and they told me to... Um, use a file restoration program and they were like okay well you you might they were explaining to me how basically deleted files work so I actually learned quite a lot apparently when you delete files they aren't permanently deleted just yet even if you um, remove them from your recycling bin and everything there the the physical file is still stored on your disk uh, your computer just kind of forgets about it and says okay I don't I don't need to remember I don't need to remember where this file is, so I'm just gonna forget about it. But it's still physically there. And I was like, whoa, that's very interesting. But I already messed around so much with my hard disk while I was like panicking that I was worried I would have overridden it already. So I was like, okay, I mean, I can risk um, trying a file restoration, spend like a bunch of money on a program, and then see if it works. And I was so skeptical and scared because I already did a lot of stuff um, after after the uh, the thing happened, so I was really worried that I already I already overridden the file and I would never get my worlds back and they would be permanently gone. <sighs> well, you can already guess that that obviously didn't happen because I'm on my world right now. But I did install a program called DMDE, and it actually managed to help me out. Oh crap! I didn't mean to do that. It actually managed to help me out, and it it found my files. 
miraculously, I was so like relieved and also shocked and very pleasantly surprised. So yeah, I managed to restore them and now my worlds are safe and I did a bunch of backups. So I have an automatic back backup system now and everything like that. So hopefully this will not happen again. But I was really, really, I was just heartbroken. I was honestly like crying a lot because I was like, this is not my first time losing Minecraft worlds. It's happened to me actually three times at this point and it every time, I mean, I'm sure you guys understand how soul crushing it is to lose your hard work, like your worlds that you work so hard on. I mean, it really sucks. I have like a very strong, um, like emotional connection to this game. So losing those worlds was kind of like losing a part of me. Um, but anyway, I'm just really glad that I managed to figure it out and I didn't just say no, f it, I'll just, I'll forget about it, I'll just start again because I was honestly thinking I would have to do that and be like, okay, like, I'm sorry guys, I have to cancel my series, we're gonna have to start something else because I lost my worlds and it would've been so sad, but we don't have to do that anymore because I, I took the chance and I, <laughs> I spent the money and I restored my worlds, thank goodness. So yeah, happy ending, but it was very, very scary, and I was very, very, very distressed. Um, the entire day was just kind of chaos because I was, you know, it was a very long process to do all that stuff. But anyway, all is good. All is good now. We, we have our worlds back. So yeah, this is, uh, let this be a lesson to you guys. Back up your worlds. Back up everything on your computer that is important to you. Like, if you cannot risk losing it, then don't. You need to do backups. Um, I already managed to... I already, like, had this happen before where I actually lost all my data from my entire old computer. And I, I lost all my art. And it was a nightmare. So, since that day, I've always been backing up my art. Um, not very di diligently, though. But now, I, I actually did set up, like, an auto-backing up system for everything like that. So, yeah. It's very, very important to back up your worlds. And if anything like this happens to you, I will recommend you to try DMDE. Like, that is the program that helped me out, and I'm very, very, like, um, I'm very happy that I, I used that one. I saw a lot of good, um, like, feedback about that program on, like, Reddit and all the forums I was looking on. So if this ever happens to you guys, I do recommend you try DMDE. Um, I hope it doesn't happen to you, but, but yeah, that's just kind of my little lesson for today because it was very, yeah, it was very scary and it's definitely, you know, something that can happen these days. We have so many things, you know, that we, that we keep on, on our computers that's very, you know, important and it's so easy to lose these things and, um, yeah, anyway. That's that's the story. So I almost lost my fairy core world, my mermaid world, all of it. I almost lost it all. And then I, if I did, I would have had to probably restart all my series and maybe do something else, which would have sucked because do you know how badly I want to finish my mermaid series and how how sad it would be to lose my fairy core world. I love this world. I love it so much. I really enjoy playing on it like every week and recording it for you guys and playing it with you guys. Yeah, so it's definitely it would have been really bad. I'm just so glad. I was so relieved it didn't happen. Oh my gosh, you have no idea how happy I was. But anyway, enough about that. Hope you guys enjoyed that horror story. <laughs> okay, this is looking so cute. We still want to probably get all of this filled with uh, bookshelves. But for now, this looks really cool. Alright, so um, we have that done. And I wanted to also... Um, set up some farms in the tr in the tree house. So we do have our hexaray herbs growing on the actual tree leaves But on the ground I also want to set up like a little garden or something like that. So maybe like a wheat farm just to start off and Yeah, honestly, I mean it's not necessary, but I feel like we should do it just because It's good to have like a supply of food going and maybe we can also like herd some animals something like that, but uh, I really gotta clear out my inventory, and um, let me put the- what is, where does mushrooms go? They probably go here. Oh wait, no, actually I'm gonna take the mushrooms, put them in my backpack. Um, but yeah, let's go clear out our inventory, um, and we also need- 
Probably just like fences and um, um, let me see what what should I use? Maybe canopy because I, I do have quite a lot of canopy wood. So I'll make canopy fences and um, I need a hoe. I think I have yeah I have a hoe and water. That's obviously very easy to get. So I think we should be good. Let me just put some stuff away here. Where do I put this? I need like a place for all the witchery stuff now. I was looking for some other witchery mods and I did check because I did mention the actual witchery mod. The witchery mod. Unfortunately, it's not updated whatsoever. It's not been updated since like freaking 1.7.10, which is crazy. That is so long ago. Um, so yeah, definitely can't play with that. Um, which, yeah, it kind of sucks because I remember like watching Let's Plays about that. Um, that mod. But, oh well. We do have Hexray, and besides it being not finished, I think it's actually still a pretty good pick. Um, still don't know what's going on with, um, what's it called? Witch Mobility? I don't know, I guess, whatever. Honestly, Hexray has brooms. Honestly, Hexray already has brooms, so I feel like it's not, like, super necessary to, um, use Witch Mobility. Maybe I can just uninstall it, honestly. I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, but yeah, let me just see. What else should I bring? Um, maybe some of these clover flowers because they are quite pretty. And all right, I think that should be good. We have we have quite a lot of space here. Okay, let's go. Let's go back to the twilight forest. I'm gonna actually put Dorito down somewhere. Where is she? Dorito. Oh hi. Okay, let's put her away. I don't want her to. I don't want her to die. So. She doesn't have a bed yet. I totally forgot to do that. So, um, hello, Sparkle. Okay, so let's put her with Muffin. And actually, should I take Muffin with me? I, I want to take Muffin with me. Okay, Dorito is going to be difficult again. This happens like every single time. Oh my god, Muffin. Muffin, stop pushing her. Oh my, Jesus Christ. Dorito. You know what, Dorito? I mean, if you're sitting down, you're going to be fine, right? We'll just put her there. Uh, anyway, let's take Muffin with us. Muffin is... Um, she'll be safe because she she's on a pet bed. But yeah, anyway, so let's go work on our farm. I'm gonna just make a wheat farm, but we probably should bring some wheat seeds with us. Let's see, where do I keep seeds? Um, oh my god, we have a lot. Let's take some wheat. We have sage seeds, I can plant that. Um, tea, oh my gosh, I can't wait to make a tea room and coffee as well. Okay, I think I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll just use that. Let's go, oh wait, mmm. You know what? I probably should take some food. Because I'm kind of running out. Let me... I'll just take the baked potatoes. Okay, let's go. So I hope you guys enjoyed the longer episode last time. Um, I was going to do maybe a little bit longer, but honestly, you know how it goes. It's kind of difficult once it's... Oh, Muffin, you scared me. Once it's really long, but I did try my best. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see longer episodes a little bit more often. Um, I'll try my best. I will try my best to make some longer episodes, but yes. Anyway, I also wanted to do something pretty fun today. Um, so I won't, I won't keep it a secret from you guys. I actually want to try fighting the Lich King. Where is Spook? Spook, you need to sit. Yes, okay. Oh, are, are you floating? Okay. Bye, Spook. Anyway, so yeah, I wanted to fight the Lich King today. We'll see how that goes. Um, I feel like I'm pretty prepared at this point. I'm gonna... Okay, so I believe the way you do it is, like, there's multiple stages in the fight. And um, it goes, like, uh, the first one you have to fire back their little projectiles he shoots at you. And I think afterwards you can use your weapons right so it's gonna be a little bit uh difficult but i think I'm, i think i'm ready for it maybe i mean i have full enchanted diamond armor i mean i have my enchanter's bow i'll try to make some health buffs or something like that just some stuff that can maybe help me out okay but anyway i want to make my farm like right here so let's just start. Let's just start making the farm and then we can make it look a little bit prettier. Um, once we are actually, once we actually have, oh, a rainbow. Once we actually have something going on here. So first I'm going to make an infinite water source. 
And then... You know it would be kind of fun? If we made, like... The little water irrigation system that we all used to do back in, like, the old days. <laughs> um, obviously nowadays I only use, like, one block. But... <sighs> Maybe for the nostalgia. So let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. I think on the sixth one you can do another one. Just for fun, you know? Honestly, this is so unnecessary, but I just kind of want to. Because why not? But yeah, anyway. I've been really wanting to progress more in the Twilight Forest mod. I've also been thinking a lot about what to do with the Feywild mod. I really want to... Um, to do some stuff with the Feywild mod. I, I know that you need to do the little fairy summoning ritual. And then you get your own little fairy. And then you can do the quest line. I think I'm going to go for the winter court. Because I heard it's the hardest. I already mentioned this before. But I, I kind of want to go for the winter court. And just for a little challenge. So we'll do the winter court one. Hopefully it's not like impossibly hard. But I guess it will give us something to do if it is. And I'm really excited. So then we can go to the Feywild Dimension. It's gonna be so cool. So I'm gonna plant this sage really quick. We have a lot. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna plant this. Ooh. Oh, okay. Where did I put the sage in the first place? Did I even plant any? Oh, wait. Is this? No, that's not sage. Where did I put my sage? Am I stupid? Oh, how did that happen? Come on now. All right. Let me just put it here. We'll plant our sage. And I'm really excited. Um, let me get rid of this wheat because honestly we don't need that. And yeah. So today we're going to be doing some Lich King stuff. But I think soon I will start working on Feywild. Because I really want to get into it. And there are so many other mods that I need to like get into. There's We have the Aether mod. And I'm also pretty excited to do that. Because I, I, I've been learning, you know, I've finally been getting into the Fe- Uh, not the, not the Feywild. The Aether mod, thanks to um, my friend Synthwave Man. So, big shout out to Synthwave Man for helping me out with learning about the Aether. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, I really want to try it out for myself. Just kind of do it on my own. Because for- the, the only times I really messed with the Aether mod, it was with, like, friends. So yeah, I'm really excited. I really want to get into that eventually. But, yeah, I feel like since Aether is not necessarily the most fairy core mod in the pack, I will probably do it a little bit later down the road. I think everyone still really would enjoy the the, uh, the Aether mod because, I mean, it's, it's just really cool. And it's very magical and awesome. But we have Feywild. And Feywild, I mean, Fey is literally in the name. We have to mess around with the Feywild mod. I'm really excited. And yeah, so hopefully soon we'll get to that. Maybe, um, because, I mean, the Twilight Forest mod is not even finished. Like, uh, <laughs> that's something I actually learned not too long ago. That the, the Twilight Forest mod is not even completely done. So at some point, we're gonna come at a, at a stop, really. And honestly, I'm not, like trying to you know defeat all the bosses like that's not exactly my goal i kind of just want to do as much as i can um and once it gets a little bit too difficult then ow then maybe i will stop and we'll do something else um let me put some mage lights here because honestly we really need some light and i'm actually gonna put uh let me do green save Great. Okay. Hopefully that works. <gasps> yes! And now they're gonna look like little fireflies. Isn't that so cute? One of you guys told me to put mage lights and um, I was thinking, yeah, actually if I put like green ones, it'll look really adorable. So now we can have some cute little firefly mage lights. How adorable is that? Um, by the way, does this have an amplify spell? It doesn't, but we can we can put an Amplify spell, so look. Well, now I have night vision on, so... But the, it should be brighter now. Anyway, let me get rid of this. Because actually, we, we probably do need as much light as we can get here. I honestly can't tell if that's any brighter. But, I mean, it's supposed to be, so I'll take the game's word for it. And let me also put, you know what? I'm gonna put some around, like on the ground, and it'll be like a little, little magic circle. <gasps> How cool! Oh, so awesome. This is gonna help the plants grow. 
Yes, indeed. And quite literally, because light does promote plant growth in Minecraft. Pretty awesome. So, yeah, we're gonna go kind of around these mage lights and just hoe the ground. Hoe the ground. It's not gonna look really that, you know, perfect or anything. But as you guys know, that is not really my style of building. I kind of like to do things very naturally, especially in the fairy core world. Um, but yeah, um, I'm really, really just, you know, I love playing in the Twilight Forest. It's actually surprisingly very, very fun. So yeah, I also did mention last episode um, the idea of a Twilight Forest Let's Play, where we just play in the Twilight Forest. And a lot of you guys actually really like that idea, which um, is really good because I feel like that would be something really fun to do in the future. I actually do have some Let's Play ideas for the future that I've planned out. Um, not not extensively, but just some ideas that I had in mind. And obviously my Fairy Core world is like a very long-term kind of Let's Play. I'm thinking of continuing this one for as long as I really can, honestly. As long as people are still interested, I'm going to continue playing on it. Um, but uh, my mermaid series will eventually end and I do kind of like having two series going at once. So I, I did have this other one in mind that's actually a bit more jungle themed and it's gonna be kind of like a magic slash jungle theme. I'm not gonna go too deep into the details but it was definitely, uh, my, in my idea was um, kind of inspired by um, Ice Cupquake's Oasis series that I'm sure everyone knows. <laughs> so I was kind of thinking of how I can maybe make that series, well, in take inspiration from that series and kind of make it into something my of my own. So I was thinking about doing some sort of like magical jungle world. And yeah, I don't know, because honestly, like, um, with Biomes of Plenty installed, which is not installed in this mod pack, but with Biome to Plenty installed, there are some really beautiful jungle biomes. And I was just one day like wandering around them, I think to get B-roll shots for my mermaid like let's play. And I was like, holy crap, it is so pretty here. I wanna like literally make a let's play in it. And then I was thinking about and then I was thinking about how like that would be like literally like Oasis, but I guess like, you know, my own take on it. And yeah, I was thinking, like, should I do that in the future? And I, I'm curious what you guys think of that idea. So, yeah, I think basically magic and jungle as kind of the main themes. Um, living in a, like, a really awesome looking- oh, here's where my sage is going. Oops, I forgot. Living in a really cool, like, dense forest and yeah, I think that'd be really fun. Let me know what you guys think. Um, it's obviously going to be for way in the future, but I think it'll be really awesome. Uh, let me put my sage in here. There you go. Cool! I love that you can do that. And yeah. So the other idea is obviously to do a Twilight Forest theme uh, Let's Play, which I think I think a lot of you guys would like, but I do kind of worry it might be a little bit too similar to, um, you know, my fairy core world. So honestly, it's up to you guys. I'll probably do a poll in the future once, you know, the the mermaid let's play is over and we have like an empty space there where we need to fill it with another series. I'll let you guys know, I'll let you guys pick um, which idea you like better and maybe I'll have some more in the future. So, oh, oh my gosh. Okay, actually, this is a good thing that I found this blaze pet because I, I noticed that it gives you strength boost and I think that'll be pretty handy for the for the Lich King fight. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to see what inventory pets can help me out because I would really like to get some sort of buff. And um, we still don't really have any potions, so <laughs> I need to make a brewery. Brewery. It's actually something that I've not done yet, which is crazy, because it's literally just like a vanilla thing. But yeah, so. Oh yeah, I also did want to mention that, um, hold on, wait, what, what am I doing? I mean, we set up the farm, right? So I guess, let's get ready for the Lich King. I kind of want to, I kind of want to do that. So, um, I need to definitely put some stuff away. Let me move this stuff upstairs. But yeah, I, speaking of, you know, being inspired by Oasis, a lot of you, when I first started this series, you mentioned how this, uh, Let's Play really reminded you of Enchanted Oasis. Which is really 
interesting because of course I watched Enchanted Oasis way back when it first came out, but um, I'd never even thought about that when I made this Let's Play. I was like, that did not even come to mind. And then people were like, oh my god, this reminds me of Enchanted Oasis. And I was like, oh my god, like, am I like um, subconsciously like inspired by Enchanted Oasis? I mean, I don't think so, honestly, because this was honestly... This idea to do a fairy core world was definitely mostly inspired just by my own like interests in you know fantasy stuff, but absolutely I think there. Oh my god, what, what am I doing? There's definitely some like resemblance to Enchanted Oasis, which is really cool, and I'm honestly very um very what's the word? I guess flattered that it reminds you guys of Enchanted Oasis, such a legendary series. Um, it's it's like it's an iconic one so yeah it's really really cool that you guys um you know were reminded of it so yeah i just wanted to mention that because i uh i wasn't technically inspired by it but yeah i mean it's definitely it's really cool that you guys see like a, a resemblance to enchanted oasis um but yeah honestly the one thing i'll say is like I honestly, I, I really love the idea of Enchanted Oasis, but I wish it wasn't an SMP. Like, I didn't- I wish they, uh, they didn't do it as an SMP because I really don't enjoy watching SMPs that much. I'm more of like a single player, uh, let's play person, but whatever. I mean, it was still really good. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much- oh my god, this actually looks- this looks so cute! This looks like way better than I expected because it's so simple, but like the the little mage lights, they're like everything. They're they're really pretty. Oh my gosh. And the little flowers too. Ah! What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think this looks really cool. So, there's a little wheat farm. We have some food going now. Awesome! And why is this like not growing? Let me just there we go. Hopefully this turns into grass because I don't want random dirt. Uh but anyway. So that's pretty much that. I really want to put some like hanging glowberries here or maybe some lanterns on these trees. That would be awesome because like there's a huge canopy up here. Anyway, we're done with that. Um, since the entirety of last episode was basically spent in the Twilight Forest, um, let's go back to the overworld for a little bit. Get some gear going because we need to prepare for this fight. I think I'm going to probably take- oh! Ah, oh, I left mushroom there. I mean, um, not mushroom. I left muffin there. I, I've totally forgot to, uh, did I set her down by accident or something? I don't even remember. Whatever, I was too distracted. Anyway, she can stay there for now. It's not like she's going to be in harm, harm's way. Um, speaking of which, I think probably next episode, I'm going to actually get a little bit into Hexeray, or maybe we can even start this episode. We'll see. Oh, hello. I have a bone. I'm not afraid to use it. Who shot at me? Oh, I see you over there, skeleton. With your little flowery bow. Oh, I missed. Get. The only thing I don't like about the Enchanter's bow is that the uh, particles kind of get in your face. Like, it's, uh, yeah, they kind of block your vision, but anyway. It's totally cool, at least it's a pretty strong bow. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if we do have time after the Lich King fight, I, pr I probably will dabble my toes into Hexray a little bit because I am so excited. I actually really want to play with it. Um, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna take our blaze pet for sure, Zs, and we're gonna need our quiver pet in the inventory because he's gonna give us some arrows, and, um, anvil pet can be on the side. I'm not gonna need my hoe anyway. Let me put this stuff away, and we need to take our feathers with us. Oh, you know what? We actually do need to farm feathers, so I'm gonna breed my chickens. Luckily, we have a lot of wheat, and, um, we're gonna kill some, unfortunately. So, we, yeah, we barely have any chickens, which is really not good. What if we get some babies? No. Unlucky eggs. Oh, there's five in here. Let's see. Maybe we'll get lucky. <gasps> we got lucky! Woohoo! Okay, cool. So, let's kill just one. I want these guys to uh, kind of reproduce. Oh my god! The fire, the fire damage. Yeah, I saw it. That chicken was on fire. Interesting. We can eat this. Oh, no, we can't because we're vegan. I forgot. Oops, we're vegetarian, not vegan. Um, okay, I guess we'll just put it in there. So, how many feathers? We only got one feather, but anyway, I want the chickens to repopulate, so I'm not going to kill too many. So, let's see. 
Oh, I was gonna say, I'm gonna bring Spook with me to f help me fight, but she's not invincible anymore. Sad face. I wish she was, because I actually kind of like when she was. Uh, okay. We're only gonna use the pickaxe and the sword. So we have some extra slots here for something. Where is my coal? I'm gonna... Wow, do I really not have, like, any coal? Let's see. Uh, oh my gosh. We're running out of coal! Oh god, okay, it's fine. I'm gonna take some torches for sure, because it's probably gonna be quite dark in that tower. Uh, what else? We have instant health potion. Mana regen! Oh my god, that is so important. Water breathing, okay. Um, nether star... I mean, we can maybe make a pet out of those. I don't really think I need to. Oh, uh, what else? What else? Okay, let's look up inventory pets. And maybe one of these guys can help us out. So, auto save if player is half a heart is is greater than half a heart. What does that mean? Auto save like they they save me from death like a totem of undying. By the way. Totem of Undying would be kind of nice, but I don't really have any of those. Damage damage absorption right click. That costs a diamond. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Let's see. Jump boost. Speed boost. Um. So there's this purplicious cow pet which gives you health regeneration. Hmm. Fills empty buckets with lava is quite interesting. <laughs> um, honestly, kind of useful because lava is actually a good fuel source. I wonder if- whoa, we can enchant these things? Oh, actually that makes sense. Like, I'm breaking? Yeah. Crystal vanishing. Huh. So, I wonder if I can- if I should make this guy for health regen, because that would be kind of good. Um... There's so many pets. Oh my god. Pixie pet. Gives you double XP. Mmm, <gasps> I kind of like the sound of that. Kind of like the sound of that. Let's see. The heart pet heals allies. I don't know if that heals yourself though, so I'm not gonna do that. Okay. That is crazy, sun pet. Petrifier, wither, damage dealt heals you. What? Cool. Okay, I'm probably- n yeah, it takes another star. Okay, so, um, where was it? The Purplicious Cow and the Pixie Pet. I think I'm gonna make those two, so we both need a diamond for those. Fair enough. I- diamond nuggets as well. I don't know if I have that or not. He yeah, okay, let's- let's do it. We have 11 diamonds, honestly. We can- we can spare. We can spare some diamonds for some good pets. So let's see, do I have any- Oh, one diamond nugget, and that's what I need, right? Just one? Yeah. And this one- Requires an emerald nugget. Okay, I should definitely have some emeralds. Ooh, I have a lot. Okay, I'm gonna make some into nuggets. And I think I also need gold nuggets. No, we need gold, emeralds, diamond. Okay, let me get the gold and the emeralds. So now we should be able to make a pixie pet. It's so cute. Oh my god, it's actually so adorable. And the purplicious cow, we need iron nugget and lapis nugget. Okay. So, let's get some lapis. I think you need to combine it with dirt. There we go. And... Uh, what else? Iron nugget. Okay. I think I have some here. We should be able to make it now. Awesome. Cool. Okay, so let's try this out. So, does this give us health regen? We have strength from the blaze pet, which is cool. I don't see any health regeneration, though. Do I right-click? No. Okay, maybe it's because I haven't mess uh haven't lost any health yet. But hopefully that works. I'm pretty sure that the inventory pets need to be actually in the inventory I mean in the hotbar slot for them to work. So, I'm going to probably have to have like four like this and then I'll drink my mana potion, switch out for yeah. Um okay, I think uh, do I need a shield? I probably should bring a shield with me. Let's see. Do I have one? Uh, I don't think I do. Okay, that's fine. We can just make one. Let's make ourselves a shield. 
there we go and i'm gonna bring myself a little bit extra iron oh we also gotta make sure that these guys can eat emerald nugget and diamond nugget okay let me take those with me i need to actually oh, damn it i need to make a diamond nugget no oh my god this cow is actually quite expensive but okay here you go buddy you can have your diamond nuggets um Damn, I'm gonna have to find some more diamonds. Ooh, this is really, uh, gonna be interesting. Okay. So, we also have an extra mana potion I'm gonna take with me. Should I take a Deceiver's Heart? I probably should. It'd be Golden Apple as well. Put the wood away. Yeah, we probably need as much space as we can get. I'm gonna get some food. Um, what can we use for food? We need probably something pretty filling. I mean, we can probably just take the stuffed pumpkin. So, let me... Okay, we have one here. Let me use these bowls. Let's get some more bowls. I'll just put the, st the stew away, because... Uh... Okay, we have tons of bowls. I'm going to take as much of the stuffed pumpkin as I can get. There we go. So now we have eight, which is pretty good. And I will just, you know what? I'm gonna take some stew anyway with me. And I'll put it in my backpack as just emergency food because we do not want to run out. That would be bad. So, one of you guys actually suggested to um, adopt a girl just for stew and leave her in the kitchen kind of as like a soup. What, what's it called? Like a soup mate? Or what? I don't remember. But anyway, just to have like a little girl, a little mushroom girl to help us out with food in the kitchen. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. Because honestly, mushroom stew is my life savior in this world. I use it all the time. Um, which is uh, not good because I should be cooking more. But I think we should uh, get a girl. So maybe we can find one like in the forest. I'm pretty sure there's some that spawn kind of just out over here. So let's go see if we can find um, a girl. And I obviously do have brown flesh with me. I always have some. So I'm always ready to tame a girl. Let's get one. Let's get our little kitchen maid. Kitchen maid girl. Hopefully we can find one. I'm pretty sure I saw some like right around here. <gasps> Look! There's a muffin duplicate. Should we tame her? This is probably actually where I found muffin, right? Hi! You're so cute. Okay, do you think that she would be willing? Are you willing to help? I think that's a yes, right? I mean, she she looks pretty pretty sure of herself. Okay, cool. So, we have our little kitchen girl. <laughs> so she is obviously just as much of a friend of ours as everyone else is. All of our other mushroom girls. Just because she lives in the kitchen does not mean she is perpetuating any stereotypes. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're not gonna think about that because it's Minecraft. But anyway... If you guys have a name suggestion for our little kitchen <laughs> soup girl. <laughs> oh my god, that's so silly. Uh, leave a comment if you have a name suggestion. She's pretty cute. She's definitely going to be serving us a lot of stew. So let's go take her to the kitchen. And I probably should give her like a little living space. We probably need a living space out here, you know? So she'll probably, you know, she'll give us a reason to... Maybe we can put like a living area here and then have her like a little bed and in and something like that anyway we'll focus that we'll focus on that later because i oh you need nether quartz my bad okay let me get some nether quartz because yeah i am going to be fighting the lich king i'm pretty excited but also very scared we only have seven Ooh. damn it okay wait now hold on a minute i don't want my blaze powder my, i mean not my, bla my blaze pet to run out of food so I'm gonna go to the nether really quick, just really, really quick, and we're just gonna get some nether quartz, because I don't want him to starve. We do need that regen buff, and maybe even the, the fire will help to kill the Lich King when we actually can hit him. Um, so we'll we'll get some, some uh, quartz. Let's see. I'm also gonna take an eight minute yeah we'll, we'll switch out the eight minute for the three minute and yeah okay 
we also, you know what? Oh, we need our spell book in hand too. Let's go. Okay, is there any quartz? In the worst spawn ever. I hate this. Oh my god. Okay, I see some up there. We can probably get those. At least I can try. Uh, damn it. Alright, nice. That should definitely be enough, honestly. And we get some XP too, which is good, because we actually need a lot. Oh wait, we're on level 30 actually. Um, do I need a- oh yeah, I wanted to enchant my other sword. We'll do that, we'll do that another time. Let's just- let's just focus. Okay, so, um, let me just make a quick run by my inventory. So we're gonna put this away. We're gonna put the shield on our offhand. Uh, cow pet goes here. We have food for everyone, including me, over here. That's, like, everyone's food right there. Um, okay, we have, like, our buffs on this side. Let me put away the bone meal. We don't- okay, I'm, I'll put the tools, like, in the center. The blocks on top. Okay, I'm just trying to stay organized. And, okay. So, the, uh, spell book. Right. So that usually would go in my offhand. Hmm, to be fair, the self-heal is pretty important, so perhaps, perhaps we'll have to hold the spellbook instead. Okay, we'll see. If I, if I feel like I need the shield more, I'll just take the shield. Ooh, what's this? <gasps> Pierce! Mmm, I might use that. Okay, I might use the pierce. We have 45 of those. Okay, let's let's go. Let's go back to the Twilight Forest. I'm pretty sure there's a few Lich Towers pretty close by. Where is my map? Oh, it's here. Okay, good. So we're gonna... Hi, Muffin! Okay, wait, girl. You need to, like, move a little bit. Okay, she was staying. I, don't, I forgot about you, girl. Okay, let's take you to the bridge. At, oh, I didn't mean to self you. Let's take her to the bridge so she can at least be, you know, not right next to the portal. And then we're gonna go. Okay, stay here, girl. I'm a, I'm gonna be back. I promise. Oh, you're so cute. I love her. Bye. Mwah. Okay, let's go. So, um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna switch out my my yeah. We're gonna use mushroom stew as our second thing. But let's see. Oh, it's hard to freaking see. God damn it. Um, let me go by the light. So, the Lich King, I see. Okay, there's one right over here. Let's go this way. It looks like there's one really close by. Hopefully, it is, because I do not want to travel too far. It's so hard to see. Oh my god. There's, like, sun coming through my room right now. I think I see it, actually, but it makes the monitor so hard to see because it's so dark. Oh my god, what is that? Is that another Chinese plate? Anyway. I think that's the Lich King Tower right there, right? I, I can- oh, oh, yeah, that's definitely it right there. Oh my god, it's closer than I thought. We don't even need to use our map anymore. We've already found it. Okay, cool. We found the Lich Tower. What is this? Okay, random ruin. Oh, we're out of food already. Oh, shoot, I didn't mean to self-heal, but that- oh my god. That gives us a lot. What is this? Nourishment. Nourishment. Not nourishment. Whoa. Oh my god, check this out. This robust twilight oak tree is like way smaller. That's kind of cute. Oh, I kind of wish I built my, my home here now because I like that it's not as tall. But anyway, doesn't matter. You know what? Our twilight tree house is the bomb. Oh my god, wait. You need the 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 naga head, don't you? Right? That's kind of like the key. Ha, ah, frick. Okay, let me grab it really quick. Okay, let's get this naga. I think this needs to be used for the, uh, like a key or something. I don't know. All right, here we are again. Um, I believe there's no proper entrance to this place. So I think what we can do is just kind of break in. Oh man, I'm really nervous. Mm. 
Oh my god, books! Oh my gosh, wait! That is- Oh, Jesus Christ, it scared me! That is so helpful! I'm gonna have to come back here and get all the books. Oh, it's so dark though. I'm so glad I brought torches. Oh, what's this? <gasps> Ooh, speed potion, charm of life! <gasps> what? That sounds awesome! Wait. Let's see what I can do with that. Let me put this away. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Jesus Christ! What in the world? Okay, interesting. Um, what even is this place? Okay, let me- what is this for? Well, we can put it on, apparently. On the charm slot? Charm, here. <gasps> oh my gosh! Do you guys see that? I have a freaking heart necklace! Oh my god, that is so cute! I wasn't expecting it to actually show up. I'm so happy right now. Oh my god. Huh! Holy crap! Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, do you hear the little pixie noise? That is so cute. I'm accidentally- oh my god, I'm on fire. I'm accidentally healing myself instead of placing out torches. Oh my goodness, I'm doing so much damage. I'm not even using my bow right now. I'm just owning these guys. I think it's because I have strength. Yeah, it's definitely because of the strength. Holy crap, I got so much more flesh from that. Oh my god. Okay. Let me put this stuff away. We don't need the map anymore. Okay, cool. That is- oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting all that. Oh, hello skeleton. Skeleton dead. <gasps> paintings! I'm gonna have to take these paintings too. What? What is that? Do you see that? <laughs> it's like a muscle cat. What the heck? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, hello? Who's shooting me? I have slowness. Oh, it's you! Death tomb. Tome. Tome of death. Be gone. Okay. I love the sound effect of the, um, getting the extra XP. Oh! <gasps> Whoa, magic map focus. What is that doing over here? I'll take it, though. I love that sound of the, um, whoa, what the? Hey, that's cool. Cacti. Of the XP thing? It's so cute. Little sparkle. <gasps> Creeper! Oh, please don't blow up my stuff. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's see what's in here. Sweeping edge. <gasps> Charm of keeping. I want to take that. Magma cream. I'll take the charm. Oh my god, our stuff is so full already. Ah, god. You know what? I'm gonna take- I'm gonna leave this rotten flesh behind because I don't need all that. And... We'll put the bones away. I do like to keep the bones. Okay. Let's keep it going. Let's keep going. So, we're supposed to be going up. It's really dark. Ooh, it's so dark. Okay, let's keep going. I'm quite nervous. Quite nervous indeed. Um, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get it. We'll get through it. Uh, with the power of magic, fairy, and friendship. My new slogan for the fairy core world. <laughs> uh, what is this? I guess nothing. Okay. Oh! Skeleton! Oh, shoot! Dude, these things always scare me. That, did you see that? That skeleton just, like, fell three stories. Anyway, we'll just ignore that. Where is this king supposed to be? I'm kind of scared. Oh, hi. I like that they get lit on fire because then I can actually see them better. And we're getting a lot of XP. Oh my god, I love the pixie pet. This is so helpful. Oops. I don't mean to do that. Damn it. I'm wasting my mana. Okay, by the way. <gasps> That's it, isn't it? Wait, no. Oh crap, that scared me. I thought I was gonna die. Uh, is this? That- Why am I- <gasps> Why am I stupid? I just fell through the same hole twice. Okay, wait. Let me patch them. Let me patch these holes. Damn it. Don't mean to fall. You guys need to fix up your freaking staircase. Is this where the king's at? What? Um. So, do I actually need the naga thing? Or am I kind of- Oh! That's him! That's him. Okay. 
Um, battle plan, guys. We're gonna try to hit the things at him. Okay, here we go. Wait, torches. Torches. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, which one? Where's the thing? Ah! I don't- I think I missed. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. I'm scared. Oh my god! Explosions. Oh shoot, it's a tomb. Tome. Tome thing. I'm scared. Oh my god. Okay, I'm definitely regenning though. Dude, where's the stuff he's supposed to hit at me? Wait, guys, I'm really nervous. I wasn't expecting him to blow stuff up. Crap. Where's the stuff? I'm trying to- I think I'm supposed to hit the explosions back at him, right? Crap, I'm so bad at this. Hit me! No. Hit me. I don't know which one to look at. Crap! Dude, what am I doing? I think I hit something. Crap. Oh god. Hit me. Hit me, hit me, hit me. Shoot! Is this the guy? Oh, look! I think I broke- Yeah, I, d I definitely broke a shield. Wait, hold on. Okay, I'm just making sure I can regen. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, oh! Look! Yes! I did it! I got- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I actually got through it. Let me eat. He's gonna spawn his minions at me. Okay, I gotta make sure to remember to right click if I'm actually low health, but I don't, I'm honestly- Oh shoot! Okay, there we go. See? Like right there. I gotta watch my health. I have a really bad habit of not watching my health bar. Oi! Oi! Get away from me! Get away! Oh my god! That was it? I killed him! That was- <laughs> Okay, to be fair, the first stage was really scary because I was getting blown up. But the second one breezed by. Oh my gosh, we actually We actually did it. We got the Lich Head. Guys, we just killed the Lich King. How cool is that? Also, why am I on the break spell? I hope I wasn't on that the entire time. Anyway. We killed him! We got some Ender Pearls and the Scepter of Life! I actually forgot what that's supposed to do, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's kind of cool. So, this is exciting! We got the Lich Trophy! Thanks to my pets and all my buffs that I got. <laughs> cool! That's actually kind of- <laughs> that's actually kind of badass. I'm not gonna wear that, obviously. So, we did it! We actually killed him, guys! That was pretty fun. I enjoyed it. And now we can actually loot the tower because I want to take all the paintings. I need the paintings. Oh my gosh. I feel like this would have been a lot harder without like all of my buffs. I'm really glad that I invested into these. Uh, the regen. I definitely noticed the regen and the health buffs. And uh, not the health buffs. The, um, the, the strength. The strength was really helpful, I think. Because I, I honestly didn't even use my bow, I just used my sword and it, it like totally wrecked him, which is pretty cool. So, um, what else is in here? Weird little rooms. But yeah, I want to take the bookshelves, that's gonna be super- oh, oh, oh! No! No! Back, demon! Back! Holy crap. Get- get- okay, yeah, I definitely need my blaze pet. Oh god. What? Hi! Can you stop? What is your problem? There we go. Okay. But dude, we have 38 levels. This pixie pet is awesome! Awesome! Cool! Okay, I'm gonna take all the books. All the books. Let me clear out some space. Uh, oh my god. This is so awesome! Oh, oh my gosh. Uh, let me just put this down. I don't need that anymore. And... We're gonna steal the paintings. Oh, hi. Get away. Steal all the paintings. What's in here? Ooh. Whoa. Oh, there's some glowstone. I'm not gonna take that, though. You know, honestly, I'm more interested in this. We can use this for decoration. Maybe we can even put this in our library. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah! Get away! Ugh! 
Why can't I break it? Hello? Okay, whatever. I'll take this. What's in here? Ooh, dark. Scary. I just one-shot that guy. Oh, hi. I feel like the the little book enemies from uh, Grimoire of Gaia is way scarier, honestly. But yeah. Okay. So that was that was pretty um pretty easy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I was really scared in the beginning because uh, it was pretty scary, but the end of that was like over in an instant. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm out of torches. Eh, whoops. I was told the lantern. But yeah, it was it was pretty quick, honestly. But honestly, I still had fun. I enjoyed it. I think what is next anyway? I actually don't know. I think the Hydra? Is it the Hydra? No, it can't be. I feel like the heart the Hydra is quite difficult. Um but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, let's just uh let's take the books. I don't what is up here? Oh, another chest. Ooh, speed. Oh, blaze powder. I'm gonna take that. And something else. Oh, what? This is creepy. Okay, bye. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go back to the library this way no that's the cacti room okay here so many bookshelves bookshelves for days i'm gonna take all of them and we're gonna put this all in our library this honestly might be enough to fill the entire thing i don't know maybe not maybe it will be i don't know i'm not very good at predicting these kind of things but yeah i am so glad that we got this little charm it is so cute i don't even know what it does maybe it gives us like an extra life I don't know. But I'm glad I got it because it's so adorable. But yeah. Uh, what do you guys think of the Lich King? <laughs> I think it was actually... It was very um, both scary and easy at the same time. Maybe I was... Honestly, I did get to like half health at some point because I was getting blown up. But yeah. Let's see what's in here. Did I already go in here? I think I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Let's get out of here. We are done. Oh, I need these books. Give me that. There we go. We took all the books. And now, we're done. Goodbye, Lich Tower. You have been vanquished by Love Star. <laughs> okay, I'm such a freaking nerd. Anyway, let's go back. Where is our... Oh, there it is. Look, I see. It's literally like a lighthouse. I can tell because of how bright it is. And it'll only get better because we will continue working on the tower, obviously. We're gonna make some improvements. What is in here? Nothing. This kind of reminds me of those little uh, things where you can find papayas in. Not papayas, but like the the, uh, the fruity mandrakes. Not the papayas, but that is where we found papaya, to be fair. But yeah, that was pretty fun. Okay, so now we can probably do the next one. I feel like if I was able to conquer the Lich King so easily, the next one should be pretty doable at this point too. I don't know, what do you guys think? At first I have to figure out what is even next. And uh, then we'll see from there. We'll go from there. But yeah, so where is Muffin? Hello Muffin, I'm back! I told you I was going to come back. See, I lived... And uh, now we have some uh, cool stuff. And this pixie pet is awesome. I'm actually going to go home and we're going to re-roll our sword. Not this one, our other one. And we're going to see what we can get. Even though that sword is, I think, a little bit low durability, it won't matter because we have our anvil pet. Yay! Uh, where's Spook? I think I left her in the kitchen. But anyway, back in the overworld... We fought the Lich King, and I'm very happy about that. So we're making some pretty good progress in the Twilight Forest. Oh my god, I'm actually so proud of myself. Wait, did I take Muffin away? Aw, oh, damn it, I think I left her in there. Whatever. She'll be fine. <laughs> I'm so forgetful. Uh, anyway. So we have Spook. Hello, Spook. I'm back from the Twilight Forest. Um, and we have our little Soup Girl. Hi, Soup Girl! I don't know what your name is yet, but we'll see. And... 
Okay, let me clear out my inventory because we have so much stuff. A lot of books. We got some uh, bones. Blaze powder, which I'll put here. I'll put away the quartz for now and these pets I'll put. Oh my god, my inventory is so full. Holy crap. Um, you know what? I might have to just uh, clear this out off camera because it's a lot of stuff. But, what was that cow? Why did I hear a cow? Oh, it was a pet. Oh, okay, that scared me. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. He's just hungry. That's okay. You can be hungry. It's okay, boy. So, let's put away these potions. I don't need that. I didn't need the deceiver's heart anyway. What is this? Where did I get this? Tether, teleport, and gluttonous. Where? Oh! Whoa! That's awesome. Oh my god, you can place books. I have to totally do that in our library. So, speaking of which, you know what? Let's make those bookshelves. Let's make those bookshelves and we can grab our paintings as well. We're gonna need a lot of wood. So let me see how many we can make. 17. That's quite a lot. Okay, let's do that. And my sword. Where's my sword? Um, where is my sword? It might be in the uh, in the tower, I think. Okay, let's go see because I do want to re-roll it. And I'm gonna just have my pixie pet on me because, like, the the XP buff is crazy. Like, bro, I got 38 levels just like that. <laughs> that is so awesome. Okay, I love you, pixie pet. And I also love the little sound effect. It's so cute. So cute. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay, let's place our bookshelves. <laughs> so many books. So many bookshelves. There we go. Cool. And how about some paintings? We can put one here. Oh my god, that's cute. Whoa, these are- I feel like some of these are not from Mizunos. These are definitely like some different ones. Quite interesting. Aw, that's really cute. Oh no! Pixie pet's hungry. Oh god, I should have brought the emeralds. Shoot. Oh well. Also, we should probably open up these hat bags. See what we get. A lot of weird stuff, probably. Dragon head. Um, eyeball. <laughs> I don't like those eyeballs. Uh, dork. Okay, lame. I don't like any of them. What is that? Host. What is a host? Oh! <gasps> That's so cool! It's like a little skull thing, I think? I don't know. Um, I probably won't actually keep that on me, but... We got another Kirby. I don't like any of these, honestly. What about the dragon head? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Okay, what about this guy? <laughs> I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Okay, we'll just put these away. I'll have to put them into my, my hat thing. Anyway. Let's see if our, if our, uh... I forgot what it's called. The sword. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, it's not there. What? Where is my sword? Crap. Where did I put it? I need to find it. I'm always so disorganized, man. Where would I? Oh, maybe it's in my bedroom. Let's go check. It might be in my bedroom. I feel like everything is just all over the place. Ah, <sighs> so disorganized. Hmm? No! What? Where is my freaking sword? Ugh, yawn. Um, damn it. Where did I put it? Oh, God. Is it in here? I don't see a sword in here. No. Here? No. What? Guys, am I stupid? Where the frick did I put it? Hmm. I mean, where else would it be? 
Damn. I completely forgot. I don't know where my sword is. My old one. Oh, wait. No! It's not in here either! What gives? What the heck? I seriously don't know. Okay, well, I, I'm i not gonna rush into just making a new one because I feel like I just misplaced it somewhere. So I guess we'll hold off on that for now. But there is one other thing I wanted to do today. And originally I was going to just work on hexery, but I think I'll save that for next episode just so we can have probably like a hexery themed episode. Um, but since we have our new girl here and I kind of wanted to make some, you know, additions to our actual house, I'm thinking of making a little living area, like a living room. So we have kind of some empty spaces we could totally fill. I'm thinking this place definitely needs something going on here. And we also have this space. So, first things first, I want to grow a bigger tree here. So what I think I'm going to do is grab a cherry tree because they are usually quite big. And we're going to grow a beautiful cherry tree. Where in the world? Here. Do I have a pink one? Hmm. Please tell me I do. Yay, I do! Okay. We're gonna grow a pink cherry tree. And I'm gonna need some bone meal. And for this, I also want some books. So we still have a lot of books. Let me make some... Uh, wood. I don't have any oak wood, please. Oh my god. Oh, wait. I have some here. Thank goodness. So, we're going to make some more- Ooh, looks like we can make a lot. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna make as many as I can here. 28? We can make more. Um, I'll hold off on that for now just because I feel like we probably have enough. So, I have an idea. I have an idea. So, we're gonna grow our cherry tree right here. I'm gonna cut this one down. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. What? How did that happen? Why is there a thing on the ground? Did I break that? What the heck? Anyway. Let's grow the tree. Come on, it should be able to grow here, right? Come on. Oops. Come on, grow! Oh, shoot. What's in the way? Let me get more bone meal. I feel like I should definitely be able to grow here. I mean, there's a lot of empty space. What? What is constructing you? Don't tell me it's the flowers. Oh. <laughs> Poopy! Okay, I'll place them back. Because these are so cute. They're literally ornamental cherries. Okay. What was that? Oh, it's my little mana jellyfish. Are they still alive? <gasps> Yay! Okay, good. Okay, anyway, so we have our little cherry tree. Cute! Oh my god, why are you so lopsided? Mm -hmm. Why does it look like that? Let me grow another one, damn it. <laughs> oh, it, it breaks this for some- what the heck, that is so weird. Hmm. Okay. That's better. I like that a lot more. And it's snowing. Okay. Um, let me put these back. And now we're going to put some bookshelves around. Wait, actually, mmm, crap. Hold on, actually, I want to move these. Let me get my handy dandy break spell. Hooray! Probably should have just done that in the first place, but whatever. Um, we'll place some bookshelves. Oh, crap. Not again. So, this is inspired by my, well, two things now, my, f my, uh, 
cafe library built and my enchanted forest little library section that I put outside. So I want like a little cozy space where we can just have some relaxing time. And I also wanted to do one like over here. Okay, we're probably gonna have to make some more bookshelves. Maybe nine is enough, let's see. Isn't that cute? All right, so I think I'm gonna move this campfire. <laughs> there we go. And we're gonna put this over here. Nice, it's even lit. Cool. And over here. So, hmm, which one would be more fitting for the dining area? Or perhaps, no, not dining, I mean living area. So perhaps this part over here can be, no, because it's too far away. Okay, actually, okay, so this part, I think is where we're gonna have our little soup girl's room. So over here, this is going to be like her little secret bedroom. And we're going to put some... Let me grab some leaves. Hmm. Okay, we don't really have many. I'm going to have to uh, grow some azaleas. Let me do that here. And then we can get our shears and just cut it down. Nice, there you go. So this is gonna be her secret little bedroom. I'm gonna put a mage light in here. Cute. Oh my god, it's so cozy. And, alright, we need some decorations. I'm gonna put these bookshelves here. Um, she needs a pet bed, so let's go do that. Let's make her a little pet bed. We're gonna make it... Mm, well, I guess we'll see what we have. We have pink wool. I'm gonna make her a pink one. We need a bone. And some logs, which I have. There we go. Let's see, do we have any other furniture? We can play some paintings. Some of these fairy lights. And then I'm probably going to just go through the uh, furniture mods and see what we can make. Oh my god, we should make her some muffins! That's so adorable! <laughs> Okay, she'll have some muffins. We'll give her a stack of books. A little basket full of berries, absolutely. She needs like all the little uh, sweet berry tankards. What is that? I'll make her that. She needs all the little food stuff. The mushroom stew bowl is perfect. Oh, there's so many foods, it's so cute. A little seat, and okay, I'm gonna have to come back because my inventory is full. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Put the book stacks up here, and the cushion. Oh my god, that's so cute. Oh, little reading nook. And now we need to, yeah, we need some nightstands for her. And a door. Let's see, what kind of door should we give her? You know what? Let's do the cherry one. So it can stand out a little bit. Put it here. <gasps> so cute! And we'll put the nightstands. 
like that and now we can put some food oh crap oh cute it's so adorable whoa what is this oh i guess these are like drinks oh crap okay i think this looks pretty adorable uh maybe i'll put one more painting right here oh it's going the wrong way damn it uh what about oh that's a big one <gasps> kitty okay definitely so this is gonna be our little soup girl's room she still needs a name but i think she'll like it she's gonna chill out in the kitchen just for now and we can also work on this area so this i want kind of to be more of like the living room so let's go try to make um maybe some like sofas or something i think i'll probably make some sort of carpet i don't know um i kind of want to make magenta carpet Ooh, alliums make magenta and lilacs actually i think we have some lilacs growing outside so we can probably collect those uh where's my there it is bone meal Let's go get some lilac. There should be some next to our little pond. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that's enough. And you know what? I think I'm just gonna dye my sheep. And we can get some wool from that. We have a lot of pink and red ones right now, but we can make some magenta. Okay, 16. We have 16 right now. I'm gonna dye some more. All right, 33, that should be enough for now. So let's replace this grass with some magenta. I'm just gonna put the wool rather than carpet so we don't have any blocks getting in the way. You know what we should probably do? Melody needs to start shoveling this snow. I'm getting quite sick of it. So let's pull her out here and we're gonna have her shovel snow. Hello, Melody. Are you ready for your winter work? Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead and shovel that snow, girl. Okay, there we go. So I think I'm actually going to add some like carpets on the edge, but I'll do that a little bit later. Let's see. So I'm going to, um, let's see what kind of sofas we got here. We have these really cute ones from Cluttered. Red wool, green wool, uh, blue, red. I mean, maybe we can make these. They're honestly so cute. Uh, okay. So red, we need blue and spruce okay honestly quite doable should have some red wool we only have four okay well i mean it should be enough and then we can just grab some white and i'll just make four and we'll dye it blue which we have enough blue cool and now we need spruce i think fences and just that's canopy ah oh, it's hard to tell this is kind of okay let me just make this yay we can make it and i'll make two. Oh, we don't have enough what are we missing what am i missing the what oh the stuff okay now there we go so we have two sofas dark wood quilted sofas these are really cute oh my gosh i love them oh adorable i'll put in here 
Um, and now, hmm, we definitely need some sort of, like, table, I suppose? Like a little reading, reading nook. So, um, let me put this stuff in here. And we're gonna make, first of all, we need some bookshelves. I mean, book stacks. We need floating tomes. What about, uh, I don't know, maybe not. We can make perhaps a bookshelf as well. Maybe I'll make the Dunmer... What does a w bookshelf look like? Actually, yeah, I'll make the wardrobe, because I like the wardrobe. And we'll do two drawers. And, wow, we're out of clay. So, that's all we can really make. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. We can put the bookshelf, like, maybe here. Cute. And some drawers in the center. And we'll put our bookshelves... Oh, cute. And, uh, hmm. Oh, I have an idea. So we have these two enchanted books. I don't really know what these effects do, but we can place those and they're going to look pretty cool. So I think I will do that. And, um, I can probably make some more fairy lights. So we need iron, string, and white fairy lights, which we have some. Let's get the string. And I'll make... We'll just do two. I don't think I need two, but... Yeah. And... There are so many decorations we can use. I honestly just don't know what else we can put here for the time being. If you guys have any ideas, of course, let me know. Oh, that's so cute, but it's kind of like going through the block. Okay, wait, let me try this again. Break! Let me put this one... Ah. No. Why are you doing this? What about here? But now it's not as like... Okay, what about... What if we lower them? Yeah, that that's better. Cute. Very nice. I love the fairy lights. Okay, cool. So, let me put the uh, little books, books down. There we go. Oh, they're really adorable. Okay, and lastly, let me go get some more sheep. So I kind of want to make a few carpets just for a little bit of texture. That looks a lot better. Nice. That's really cute. Okay, so I definitely think we can add on to this a little bit later, but hmm. One last thing, one last thing. I will add some leaves. Wait, do I even have any? Okay, yeah, we do. We have some azaleas. I'll place the azaleas because at least these won't get any... They don't usually get brown during the, like, autumn. So I kind of like them for that reason. And we can put a mage light and one over there. Okay, pretty awesome. I really like this actually. So yeah, this is inspired by some of my previous builds, but honestly, it's just such a cool, like little comfy design. And I'm gonna actually, why are these like way in the back here? These should be in the front where we can actually see them. Literally so cute. All right, so you guys let me know what you think about this. I think this is a pretty cute little living area. 
and it's pretty cool and cozy. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I really hope you enjoyed. I try to make this one a little bit longer as well. Um, but yeah, be sure to check out my YouTube memberships if you want to help support my channel and get early access to videos as well as a bunch of other things. Be sure to leave a like on the video if you want to see more fairy core. And with that all being said, I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all later. Bye!